Welcome to the video of the series dedicated to the Solana technical breakdown. In this video you'll learn how decentralized cryptocurrency loans work and how to launch your own lending system. Subscribe to the channel and let's get started. In the usual world of finance, a person who takes a loan from a bank normally secures its return by a collateral in the form of some property. The collateral must be larger than the loan so that in the case of non-return, the bank can sell the collateral and cover its losses. If the loan of the accumulated interest is paid off, the collateral will be returned to the borrower. If the person refuses or cannot pay the loan and the collateral during this time for some reason fell in price, the bank sells the collateral and in accordance with the agreement obliges the borrower to return the remaining part of the loan in one form or another. With such a system, trust between two parties, the bank and the borrower, is needed. Moreover, certain people can even get permission to have a loan. In the decentralized finance world, there is also a lending sector, only it works differently. Here, the funds are managed through a smart contract that is an independent program stored on the blockchain that is performing specific actions. A creditor sends his funds to a smart contract. These funds will be used to provide loans to other users, for which the lender receives payment for the use of his funds. In turn, the person who wants to get a loan must somehow guarantee the return of funds because in decentralized system it is impossible to obligate participants to do something. In this regard, the concept of LTV is used, that is the loan to value ratio. It reflects how large the collateral is in relation to the loan received and is used to estimate the possible loan amount. If the borrower wants to take a loan of LTV equal to 25%, he will need to deposit the collateral which will be 4 times the loan amount. The collateral in this case is cryptocurrency. For example, for taking a loan of $2000 in USDC tokens with LTV TV 25%, he will need to deposit $8,000 in soul coins. But what's the point of taking a loan and blocking cryptocurrency as a collateral, which costs 4 times more than the loan if you can just sell it? If a person believes in the success of the cryptocurrency asset but sells it because of the need for cash, then he loses the opportunity to make money on the possible future growth of the asset price. And when taking a loan, the cryptocurrency will simply be blocked in a smart contract and fully returned after the loan is returned with the accumulated interest. Depending on the LTV value at the time of taking out the loan, the interest rate on the loan will also vary. The lower the LTV value, that is, the more secure the loan, the lower the interest rate will it have, and vice versa. The higher the LTV value, that is, the less collateral the loan has, the higher the rate it has. However, it should be noted that the conditions for loans in the sector of decentralized finance in most cases are much more loyal than in ordinary banks, though a situation may occur after taking a loan and depositing a collateral. The price of the cryptocurrency collateral will begin to fall. This means that LTV will start to grow, that is the loan will become less secured. When a certain LTV value, the so-called liquidation LTV is reached, which can be for example 80%, the collateral will become almost equal to the loan amount. In this case, the cryptocurrency collateral will be sold, covering the loan amount and ensuring the payment of interest in it. The value of the maximum LTV reflects how much collateral the loan can be. Usually this value is close to the LTV of liquidation, which constitutes the risk of the borrower. Therefore, in most cases, loans are taken with LTV much lower than the maximum LTV. For this reason, it is important to monitor the collateral of your loan and if necessary, increase the collateral, thereby saving the loan from liquidation. The other way around is also possible when the price of the cryptocurrency in the collateral begins to grow, which means that the LTV ratio decreases. In this case, the borrower will be able to withdraw part of the collateral back. Thanks to this system, both parties can work out the loan without the need to trust each other. The lender's funds are secured by the automatic sale of the collateral in case of non-payment of the loan or a decrease in its collateral, allowing you to safely earn on the investment of your assets. In turn, the cryptocurrency collateral provided by the borrower is securely stored in a smart contract, providing an opportunity to make money on the growth of an asset. All of this without verification, providing credit history or insurance payments. This scheme is common and suitable for most lending products of DeFi sector, with its own additions in each case. The project of a test platform providing lending services on the Solana blockchain has already been created and uploaded to the public. All that remains is only to perform a few simple steps to launch it, and now you will learn how to do it. To launch it, you will need to install third-party components, the installation of each of which we showed in the last video about the launch of your own decentralized exchanger on the Solana blockchain. This time we will not demonstrate their installation in detail. However, 
However, you will find all the commands and materials required to launch the landing system, including the installation of third-party components and the description. As before, copy the GitHub repository of the landing system project using the git clone command and navigate to the created folder. In such landing systems, there is usually a commission that is charged for the benefit of the system itself. Since you are providing such services, you can set your address to receive commissions. To do this, using any text editor, open the .env file in the same created folder and enter your address for receiving commissions in the host fee address line. Then enter the set command in the terminal or in the command line, again specifying your address. Now before starting, we only need to install a number of additional tools to prepare the local server using the following commands. After that, we can start a local server and access the landing system using the link displayed by opening it in any browser. Please note that since it's not a fully functioning landing system but rather intended for educational purposes, some features may not work correctly. In this regard, when testing the product, take the risks of using real assets into consideration. We will demonstrate the work of the landing system in the main Solana network. Use the connect button to connect your wallet to the application in the appropriate network. To do this, you can use the solid wallet, the link to which you will find in the description. We talked about it in the first video of series on creating your own tokens. The main page will display general information about the assets available on the platform, the current interest rate on them and other stats. Please note that some data may not be correct. In the deposit tab, you can deposit funds to provide loans as a collateral to be able to take a loan. Here you can see maximum LTV and liquidation LTV, with which you are already familiar. The borrow tab contains tools for borrowing, but it's not possible to fully test this process. Your loans and deposits can be in the dashboard tab, from where you can also go to the section for withdrawing and sending funds. By going to the liquidate tab, you will see loans in a bad state, that is close to liquidation. You can buy back part of the collateral for such loans at a discount, thereby lowering the LTV. You can learn more about the lending service platform by launching it yourself. You can find commands and links to all services required for this in the description. This video is the third and the last of the Solana technical guide series. After reviewing which, you have gained basic knowledge regarding the operation of the blockchain, the creation of tokens, and the launch of your own DeFi sector products. Learn new things and subscribe to the Krypton channel and our social media. All links will be in the description.